Welcome, Internet, to another session of My Ramblings. I am your host, KMac, as always, and today I wanted to touch on some possible GTA uh, DLC coming in the near future. Now, as you guys know, that this game is already massive and already one of the best games, top-selling games of all time, and i just been wondering what some of the DLC could possibly be. Um, Rockstar has maybe been hinting towards a couple new things uh, on their Twitter, on their page, and I wanted to just kind of touch on some of the things that I think would be possibilities and I think would be pretty cool to see. Uh, first off, um, there is a part in the campaign where Michael flies back to, to see the grave of their buddy that died in the very first mission. And there's a whole part of that map um, that you can only access on um, you know, a couple missions here and there. There's no other way to get to it. You fly to it or whatever. You can't get to it any other way. I think that since that part of the map has already been designed, it's it's pretty big in itself. It's a pretty big uh, piece of countryside along with a bunch of small towns. And, a, a, and it's a pretty sizable map. I mean, it could do a lot for the game, especially they brought it to the online. I know that some of the game can be kind of humdy drum when you get around, you know, you've been around the same city for a good amount of time. I mean, it hasn't happened yet because the game is still very fresh, very new. But, you know, say a month or so, two months from now down the road, um, it might kind of get kind of boring going to the same old places, doing the same old things online. So adding a new section, which is a pretty sizable one, like I said, uh, could be a very, very good idea for Rockstar to do. Now, this next idea is just something that is kind of out there, kind of um, on their radar. I feel like it should be something to be keeping an eye on because it could be something potentially game-changing and awesome um, and so amazing. What I'm talking about is, of course... Um, the possibility of them doing a zombie type DLC for GTA 5 online. Now, before you go ahead and say that's impossible and everything like that, remember back to Red Dead Redemption when they did an on-dead nightmare zombie mode DLC that everyone loved so much as one of the top rated DLCs of that year, and it made them tons and tons of money, and it was so widely um, respected, and you know everyone loved that DLC. I know I loved that DLC. I know that I played the shit out of that, so... I think that they could possibly bring this to GTA 5 as well. Now, just imagine yourself for a second. If you, your buddies, are, are driving down the street, maybe four of you rolling in an SUV, and out of nowhere, a horde of zombies comes down the street of Los Santos, and you have to defend yourself against a zombie attack. How amazing would that be? That experience online with your friends, with the possibilities that they have with adding zombies into it, would just be endless. It could be so much fun. And I know that they already do a like a wave survival type thing. It's like a mission. And they could add onto that and make it like a zombie type like a survival mission. And I think that would be so much fun. It would add so much dimensions to this online game, especially in a few months when the game, like I said, is kind of being, you know, humdrum and it's kind of starting to get repetitive. You can only do so many heists. You can only do so many robberies before things start to get old. And, um, you know, especially with more games like Battlefield, Call of Duty, you know, and all those games and the new consoles coming out, they're going to have to do something to stay relevant, to stay fresh, to keep people playing this game. And so they keep on, you know, spending their money on the microtransactions and on the DLCs. So they have to keep their attention. And I feel like a zombies would be a perfect way to do this. Everyone is so huge into zombies, and especially, um, you know, with The Walking Dead, the television show, and of course it being in all the Call of Duties and then all that kind of stuff. Everyone is huge into zombies right now. It's a super hot topic, and everyone seems to love every kind of zombie game types that drops. Uh, I know there was one in DayZ they made with a mod of it that everyone loved, and again with the Call of Duty, obviously everyone loves zombies and all kinds of stuff like that. It just makes kind of perfect sense that they would do this, and it would be so much fun. A free roam world like as big and as immersive as GTA 5, um, with zombies in the background, or with you know just having zombies roam, roaming the streets, attacking people, and hordes of them coming after you, and you having to escape from them, and it just adds so many cool dimensions to this game. I can't even I can't even contemplate them not doing it. It's so amazing, and it's such a great idea. And I hope I hope they're out there doing it. I hope they're doing it. Um, there's rumors of it, but there's nothing confirmed as of yet, um, but there's been rumors of them. Like I said, they have done this in the past with Red Dead Redemption with the On Dead Nightmare Zombie DLC. But uh, that's basically it for this video, guys. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. I want to hear you guys, uh, if you guys think the DLC should be zombies, if you think it's to be uh, something else. I want to hear you guys what you guys think on that. So make sure you guys are leaving a comment telling me what you guys think the DLC, DLC should be. And uh, make sure you guys are subscribing for more GTA content daily. And um, 
and we be doing so much stuff in the next month or so. It's gonna be so exciting. Such a great time for online gaming right now with the the debut of the PS4 and the Xbox One, along with Call of Duty Ghost and Battlefield and all these games are coming out right now, and it's just a great time for gaming. So if you guys could please subscribe, I'm gonna bring all that information to you guys as much as possible, as soon as possible. Um, I cannot wait to bring all that information to you guys. So make sure you guys are mashing that subscribe button and subscribing to my channel for all this content. But that's it for this video, guys. Like I said, as always, game the fuck on until next time, and peace out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys can check out some of my previous videos where I talk about Mega Evolutions in the new Pokemon X and Y. It's a very cool video. If you guys want to check that out, go check that out. And as always, guys, have a good day. Game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out.